And I fully expect the criticism to begin down in the comments that I'm an idiot because I left behind an expensive purse. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Well, this makes me incredibly sad. I have really enjoyed shopping at the Goodwill Boutique, but sadly they are closing this location and I have my ideas why. We will talk about that as we shop. I mentioned it a little bit the last time I was here, so we'll go, we'll go a little deeper into that, but <clears throat> they have not started the 50%. So I'll show you the signs on the door in just a minute. Uh, they will be going to 50% off at this store, so I suspect people haven't really been shopping heavily here waiting for that. But today is senior day. I get 40% off. I'm not going to squabble over that extra 10%. So we're going to get inside here and we're going to see what we can find. Let's get shop done. So here are the signs. So they're going to do 50% off for a couple of days and then they're going to do 75% off for a couple of days. I don't know that I'll come back to those, but we'll see. So I'm going to take a quick scan of the jewelry first. I'm not seeing anything super exciting this time. There's stuff that's red tagged. I even see stuff that was here like weeks and weeks and weeks ago like that. That's been here a long time. I remember that piece. Okay, let's go on to other stuff. This is always their little vignette table here. Sometimes they can find some good pieces. I do like these little fake roses. They're eight bucks minus 40% would be, what is that, eight times six, four, eight, like five bucks. I don't know, I'm, I'm tempted by those. I would put those up on my ledge. So this piece did kind of grab my attention. I knew it was a newer piece, but it's interesting with its red iridescence. And then it looks like somebody just put something on the bottom there. $14.99. Like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about this. I suspect this is why this store is going out of business. Number one, for a Goodwill, it's a small store. It's uh, square footage wise. They don't put as much inventory in here. Oh, he's, oh, he's a planter. He's got a hat. <laughs> he's got his little, he's got a little ducky hat. How cute is he? I'm gonna leave him though. Uh, so this is probably a really expensive location rent-wise. Uh, this is in, uh, I think this is considered Summerlin, which is high rent district, and it's a smaller store, so less inventory. So they do charge higher prices. We've talked about that before. But lately the prices have been going even higher, but it's still a thrift store. And so there you have a little, a little bit of an issue. So we're, we're gonna keep talking about that, but let's get more stuff. You know what? I don't think I would have known what that was uh, before having a fig tree of my own, but that is literally what a fig looks like when they come off the tree. And I have a fig tree that is producing fruit and we don't know what to do. Like we've tried to just eat the fruit and we're not big fans of just, you know, eating the fig off of the tree. So if anybody has a good fig recipe, I would love to make some homemade fig Newtons. If anybody knows how to do that, please, please, please leave me a comment. Let me know because that's our, that's our new quest. Oh gosh, look at this milk bottle. Look at this. How fun is that? It's not old. It's just fun. Who makes you? What does that say? I can't read it. It looks like a whore. Oh, it looks like a Pegasus. It's like a Pegasus mark. Okay, so he would be like five bucks. I must have him. It's a little hand-painted console bowl. Little piggy. So lots of brand new, not brand new, but I mean newer contemporary home goods target type stuff ends up here. These are treasure craft. 
What? Okay. Well, that changes things because Treasure Craft is a cool brand and these would be like five bucks. So I feel like those are probably worth at least 15. So I'm going to grab those. I gotta say though, I just, I would never find anything here if it wasn't on sale. The prices here are a little bit high for a thrift store. So that is a problem. I'm gonna see if this is signed. This is fused glass. It's fun fruit. I don't see. <laughs> There's a lady on the phone just talking away as if she is the only one in the room. How do people do that? I don't know. I'm very quiet. You can tell when I'm like whispering. Nobody can really hear me talking. So I just, that's not, yeah, because I know that I would get those comments. I don't know if you can hear her, but she's literally just having this full on conversation, I think, with an employee of hers, literally like at the top of her vocal range. Okay. I actually don't think people are that aware of the things they do anymore. He, he's new. He's just a new contemporary, like a home goods piece. Not that he wouldn't sell, but I suspect that's about what you can get him for online. And most people go into a thrift store and think, well, I want it cheaper than I can get it anywhere else. So that that is part of the problem. Okay, this is... Uh large interesting piece okay do you think that this came in a set of three like see no evil hear no evil speak no evil kind of dudes because he looks like he's covering his ears he's kind of cute three corps five bucks hmm do I like him for five bucks I don't know three three hands corporation generally it's not high, high end, but it's not low, low end. I, I just feel like he was part of a set. I'm sorry, dude. I'm, I'm gonna leave you there. You can, just don't listen. Don't listen. No, 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 no. What are these little carved wood guys? See, I come in here and look for the vintage treasures that end up here. See, just like this guy's thinking. He's thinking hard. Oh, I see Betty Boop in a laser etch. Do you see Betty Boo? Oh, $12.99. Uh, so she'd be $6.50 because she's purple tag, which is half off. I just, yeah. The laser things, I never can sell. I end up re-donating them most of the time. Cactus. Oh, what are you? Oh, what are you? You have many pieces. Okay. Stand by. Okay, I thought this was going to be a planter, but it ends up being a teacup with a built in infuser, which is something I've actually been looking for. It's a really small cup, though, but I guess you don't want like a huge cup for tea, right? And then you have a lid to keep your, your tea hot or you have a coaster. I mean, it's kind of versatile and it comes in its original little gifty box here. So eight, so that would be like $5 and there are two matching ones. So I think I'm gonna pick those up. Ooh, this is still here. And I liked it the first, oh, it's red tagged. That's why it's still here. It's just for a reseller. Um, it's not worth paying $10 for. Had that been 40% off, I'd have scooped it up. I mean, if I, if I end up coming back for the 50% off, I would grab that at five bucks because I do like it. It's Scabo. I think I identified it. Oh, it's Fifth Avenue Crystal. Okay, that's why I identified it last time. So it's not like a mid-century or Murano or anything spectacular. It's just a nice, more contemporary candle holder that's really cool but got to pay less than 10 for it here's another one of these little hand painted console bowls it's a cute little teapot love dream fortune and happiness 
All right, this is an interesting piece of glass. Looks older. I'm going to say it's Bohemian glass. It's not quite thick enough to be Murano. They have it priced at $20. Quite a sizable piece for shipping, I might say. Not that I can't do it. Hmm. So it would be like $12. <sighs> I feel like I'm going to regret if I don't do it, and yet the Bohemian glass tends to sit longer than my Murano glass. And because of its size, I think that's why I'm going to leave this one behind. A little contemporary teacup, but I always like to see who makes things. Botanical Collection by Corner Ruby. There you go. This plate was sitting up there, sitting flat. Um, but I noticed the little sparrows, and it's a bone Hoya. They do have $12.99 red tag on that, which means there is no discount. It's beautiful, but I am going to leave it. Okay, again, this bird is like from Home Goods or Target or one of those, but he's super cute. I do like him, but I don't know. Eight, he'd be five bucks. I'm getting a lot of like the $12 to $15 items again. So I do need to be a little bit more careful because then I get a little overwhelmed with my workload. This is cool. This could display jewelry really well. Does it have a name? No name. It's just really elegant looking and it could hold like a bracelet or a necklace. I think I'm going to pick that up. This piece is like three planters attached together. Would make cool little herb garden pots, wouldn't it? These can oh yeah, your little fakey candles. You're pretty. It was suggested to me that I get that kind of candle if I really wanted candles, but it's just not the same. Like to me, the whole thing about candles is the good smells. So if I can't have the good smells, I don't really have a desire just to have the candle effect as it were that's pretty a little carafe I think you put ice in here to keep the wine chilled it's kind of cool but then I was also noting just this very simple glass vase back here that says handmade in Poland and it's a beautiful like a periwinkle blue it would be 750 I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Give me an A. Is that a box? It is an A. It's an A box. And that, okay. Does that really go with that? Like, is that how it's supposed, is, I guess. It's not like sealed or anything. That would not be airtight. So is it more decorative? I, I'm not sure see what we've got here. A big, large pasta bowl. This looks like one of the anthropology vases. Let's see. No marks. I've never actually looked at the bottom of one because usually I find them and they're broken so I don't know what the bottom looks like. This just does seem super high quality and we do know these break really easy so I'm going to leave it. And there is another Ray Dunn birdhouse. I have been selling the ones that I have. Yes, for $12.99 minus 40%, we will grab another one. I know Noah likes like these geometric shape type sculptures, but he is out of room for things in his room. <gasps> Ooh, that is a marble jar, like solid marble, like heavy, solid white marble for about eight bucks. I think we'll go ahead and grab that. Okay, I know, uh, I almost said Jordan, Rachel. Rachel would really like the chicken because she loves chickens, but she is also out of shelf space. This is a pretty, kind of a generic glass vase. You can see that indented pontal on the bottom there, pretty common. Make your own luck. 
<laughs> Good dads forgive your mistakes. Great dads help hide them from mom. That's terrible. It's awful. Looking at this guy. Oh, he's big and he is heavy. I don't know. He, he would have held something in his arms. He's cool, but we're going to leave him. Got some little milk glass vases. See, ten dollars. That would be in the regular Goodwill for like two ninety nine, three ninety nine, and even then, <laughs> they're a hard sell. That's pretty. Let's see what we've got here. It's got a really nice look to it. Oh, it's got some really nice markings. It's from Morocco. Now they are asking fourteen ninety nine with no discount. So this is an item. I'm going to do a quick look up and see if I can justify that $15 price. So I couldn't find any justification for paying $15. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's nice. It probably would sell for $30 to $40. Uh, it's just not enough margin for me. I know that sounds crazy. I'll explain that again in a little bit. Uh, I don't want to bore all the non-resellers with that, but if you're a reseller, I'm going to explain that when I get to the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. Um, but it's beautiful, but we're going to leave it. Oh, I see a little mercury glass owl. He's a newer one. Yeah. He's trying to look like the old ones, but he is not old at all. He's really thin too. That's a little scary how thin he is. Pretty little bow trinket box. Okay, nothing there for us. Dolphin says as is. This is a intro. Oh, it's not a set. So there's a pineapple and then there's a tray. I was looking to see. I'm always looking to see if they're Arthur Court. Okay, stand by. Nope. Definitely not. It came from Kohl's. So, and if you know Kohl's pricing, you know that nobody paid $50 for this. It was probably half off and then 20% of that. And then it was probably less than 20 bucks at Kohl by the time you do all the, the discounting because that's their whole pricing strategy. And we all fall for it too. All right, that's a cool little chicken. I do like that one. Again, he's not old. He's just made to look old. Let's see, I, I can get behind $6 on him. He, I shouldn't though. I shouldn't do it. But then I feel like right now, as I said that, some of you are going, get it, get it, get it. And then I go, oh, but I don't know. He's only worth about probably like $15. And, and I just explained I have a lot of those. Okay. It's going in the cart. What is this little guy for? What would you, a candle? Maybe a candle? Maybe? I don't know. Fish dishes? Yeah, nothing too exciting up here. We'll give a little once through the purses. They do red tag a lot of purses though. I'm not seeing too many red tags yet. Nicole Miller. What's that? By ho by couture. It's very stiff. That's a stiff purse. Not comfortable. Let's see if there's anything in the colored purses over here. Steve Madden. I like that color. It's 25 red tag. Oh, who are you? BCB G girls or BCB girl BCB G. Okay, however you say that. I don't know that that warrants $25. Love this color. Tiny, tiny little purse for $8. Oh boy, I just found a treasure trove of glass animals. But unfortunately, they're all red tagged. Red tagged, $10, $10 for a store that's closing and needing to sell things. I'm so surprised how many things are red tagged. I get $20 red tag. <sighs> These are not Murano. These are just art glass. You could probably find these at Hobby Lobby for around these prices. So again, 
I don't understand now. These are kind of high. They're kind of high. <laughs> they are pretty, yes, but yeah. All right, let's look at some art. I see one right now I'm super drawn to. I know this is kind of like my, my sense of art right here. This is Board of Directors by Janissa Cortez or Janice, Janice Cortez, 1986. It is pencil signed. They do want 40. It is one I am actually going to look up. So it turns out this is a good price on this print. Some of her art sells for, and, and prints sell for upwards $100 plus. So this is also the kind of art I wouldn't mind putting on my own wall until it sells, which is kind of one of my criteria. I have to like it enough that if I ended up with it, I, I could put it on my own wall. So we are gonna pick this one up. All right, let's look at the rest of the art. This is another signed print. Let's see who you sign. Study two. Elise Green is, I think, what I see there. Tell me that's what you see. There is a name, to, oh no, it's numbered. So it's numbered 384 out of 2,000. 2,000 is a big high number for a print. Oh, I could have just looked here instead of trying to interpret that. Uh, this is sold at Home Goods. I think it's a Home Goods tag, $80. So. It's a good price for somebody who wants to decorate, but it's not a, like a good investment for a reseller. Stuff like this can sometimes be worth like a gazillion dollars too. M. Schick, but that looks printed. That doesn't look signed. I think that's just a print. Lots of things I would call corporate art. You see them in office buildings and hotels and that sort of thing. Got a movie postery kind of a thing there. Yeah, just some common stuff. This is kind of cool. This looks like an Audubon type. Uh, it's Roy. I can't see what that says. It's double signed. So this is the, this is printed with the print, but then this is pencil signed and it's two of 200 and two out of 200 see that that's a much better number that's probably a good piece let's check out what's over here in the kitchen stuff a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do john wayne oh there's gonna be a generation soon that's not even gonna know who john wayne was it might already be here that generation might already be here it's strange to get old really strange <laughs> and it's inevitable it happens to all of us little camper salt and peppers yeah nothing super exciting in the glassware are nice looking pillows with the little ribbon accents. $7.99. There's one, two, three. I do actually really well selling pillows. Let's see who makes these if they have a name on them. This is Naples Place. I mean, we've got some clues. 1994. They are vintage. You know what? I think that's going to be about five bucks each. I'm going to pick those up. Oh, I just found another little counter of interesting things. These are by Colport. They're little flower ladies. They are $25 each red tag. No discount. No discount at all. She looks like Audrey Hepburn, doesn't she? This one is... The English Ladies Company, Lady Epsom. Ooh, that one's 50. I imagine this one's probably 50 as well. Yeah, this is, oh, this one's Colport again, 50. Very interesting pricing, Goodwill. You pull out the drawers, you see little things they tuck away in here like wallets, Rioni, Moda Italia, ooh, 20. 
it's a Vera. I think that one will only be five bucks. Is it a Vera? I don't think it is a Vera, actually, now that I look at it. Oh! Okay, you're probably wondering, where's my hands free? It says, love she. Where's my hands free little contraption? I forgot it. Because <laughs> that's what I do. All right, so that's just a cute, it's just a cute uh, wanting to look like a Vera, but it's not. This one's actually a Vera. Look at that. Oh, and it's got a very... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Kind of a, a muted palette for Vera Bradley. Usually you see her with the really bright colors. How much is that one? Ooh, it's a blue tag, $12.99. So that would make it like seven, eight bucks. Seven or eight bucks? I feel like I like that one for that price. Dissiton? I don't know that name. That says Dooney and Burke. It's new with tags, but it is a little, it's a little scuffed up. It was 35 when it was new, and they have 20 on it. And 20 on this, and it's got no strap. All right, let's just close that back. Oh, wait, what was that? What are you? You're new with tag, too. Oh, Universal Thread. Okay, let's close that one back up. Down here in the bottom, I found this Kate Spade address book. It's favorite people. It is $15, red tag. It was $25 at the Kate Spade store. I'm not sure what the resale value on that is, but I suspect $20, $25, so. Oh, and they have two of them. Look at all the eyeglass cases. I actually bought some of these in Florida for like two bucks a piece. This one is a Swarovski. I think it might have the glasses in it though. Nope, it doesn't. It felt like it did. Um, $10 on that. There is a, okay, tell me if you get the joke. Versace, I, it's an old movie. I know, it's funny. Versace, I know it's Versace. Um, I mean, that might not be a bad price. The empty cases actually sell. This one's Jimmy Choo for $10. Prada, that one's uh, Oki. Ray-Bans, Maui Jim. These are some good cases. Actually, quite a few really good cases in here. That's Tory Burch. But I just don't know. $10 just seems uh, a little too high for, for resale. Because even though it's got a good name, they still don't sell for, you know, ginormous amounts of money. Who are you? You are. Be happy. Be bright. Be you. Oh, is that is that Brighton? It doesn't say. I'm just, I'm guessing. But I feel like Brighton would say Brighton, right? Okay. And then there's Coach. Yeah. There's some good ones, but they are $10 each. Got some scarves in a drawer. This one is, is that Calvin Klein? 15. What are you? What are you? You feel like silk. You would be five bucks. I wish you had a name. You're very pretty. I have plenty of scarves right now. I think I'm gonna leave those. And one more drawer of little goodies. That looks like a Juicy Couture tag, is it? No, it's Princess La. Oh, there, B. Osberg. Okay, that's probably something good, right? Is it something I should look up? It's just not my thing. It's not my thing at all. Oh, there's a Kate Spade. Looks like they have $20 red tag on it. Mm. Amy Kessenberg. See, I just don't I just don't know these names. I don't know them. I mean this one seems like good quality, but then uh, I'll just leave that for somebody else. And I fully expect the criticism to begin down in the comments that I'm an idiot because I left behind an expensive purse. I don't care. <laughs> I don't have to buy everything that's worth money. That's my, that's kind of my thing. I don't have to buy everything. Lordy, if I bought everything that was worth reselling, I would never, never get it all listed. These are cute. These are like little 
Now, are these caviar dishes or little individual butter dishes? I do like them. They would be like $5 each. I'm going to pick those up. So I just want to say, I, I don't let the comments get to me. I, I get so many wonderful, supportive comments, and I appreciate you guys who do that. I have been a reseller for decades. I have a very successful reselling business. I don't need to do everything that everybody says out there. Uh, I, that is one of the things I've learned to do is create my own business. And I love to help other people do that too. So I'm just going to take a moment to let you guys know I do have a membership that you can join. And in that membership is where I do some more personalized content to help resellers. So that is in the all in level, which is just, it's five bucks a month, it's five bucks a month. I wanted to make it affordable uh, so that I can help you take your business to the next level. I've been in this game a long time and I've helped a lot of people. And so if that's something you'd be interested in, go ahead and join that membership level. We'll do private lives, more educational videos, all of that kind of stuff for resellers that I don't put here in the normal content. So that's just my little, my little PSA uh, if you would like help this year in growing your business. Fro oh, they're window panels. Frozen. Let it go, let it go. Cotton quilted throw with birds on it. I wish it wasn't orange. If this was blue, it would so be coming with me. Ugh. I think it's still going to come with me for resale though because it's only $6 and it's brand spanking new and it's got birds on it. So even though it's contemporary, this is still a good resellable, easy to ship item. Okay, these chairs are fun. Oh my gosh, they're so heavy. What are they made to do? Look, they're metal. Are they bookends or something? I have, I don't quite know what their purpose in life is. That is a single owl bookend that's quite contemporary. And then there's some bunnies. You are from Ceramic Bunny Candy Bowl. Um, distributed by Crescent Enterprise. So, oh, they were, they were three dollars, and Goodwill price is nine ninety nine. And they're not vintage. It's not like that price was. Oh, look at her. It's not like that price was the price twenty years ago. Oh, I love this. She's playing um, Swan Lake. Okay, how much are you? Oh, it says Chloe on the top. Well, that's a deal breaker, darn it. It's Ray Dunn wannabe. That's a repro. It's nice, but it's got rust. I don't know if that's intentional, but I don't like it. And these are doggy bookends. Those are fun. All right, let's keep going. All right, let's see. Oh, it's a little shadow box drawer. Why do I like this? Why do I like this a lot? And it's purple tag. So it's actually only five bucks. I'm not exactly sure what I do with it, but I, I am gonna figure it out. Candy jar, cage, string lights. Are you solar? If you were solar, I'd get you. I don't like messing with plugging things in outside. I only go with the solar stuff. Oh, I'll have to show you what we built for Eileen yesterday. Uh, it was a very productive day. Top Ramen Funko Pop. Okay, I don't know about that. So winter was really easy. We just made her a dog house with a heater in it, but summer's a little more challenging because you know, you, you can't put an air conditioner in a dog house. Uh, so we built a structure out of straw and it has passed the test. It was super cool, uh, retained the coolness. So no more having to run the misters all day. Okay, that's kind of a cool piece of pottery for $5. Looks South American or possibly African with those colors. Some kind of a vessel. I can't find anything wrong with it. Yeah, let's grab that. Oh, lots of this 
modern stuff. Look at this. How does that work? I guess you have to, wait, how do you, I mean, it doesn't just like, oh, I see, wait, like this, okay. Oh, that's, that's actually kind of cool. That's how that works. All right. Nice. Nice. A little welcome to my garden birdies. Oh, our fairy garden has been completely displaced now. We have to find a new location for it. Cool coil basket. Ooh, that would only be like $4. I like it even though it is it's not older or anything but it's it's just really nice for four dollars I'll grab that speaking of fairy garden look what's behind it A little fairy garden tree for five bucks are you broken on the top no yeah wait thank you okay no I don't need it I don't need it resist Danny resist oh Norman Rockwell you just don't sell well anymore did it ever sell well? That's what I want to know. $15 for the four mugs. And then who's this guy? Melody in Motion Collector Society, Oinko Products. Cute little hobo with a little alley cat. Mm, I just don't, I just don't think he's uh, good for me. There's a shelf with some pretties on it. What does that say? Something crystal. Why can't I read that? Lead, it says lead crystal. Duh, Danny. Made in Poland. Ooh, $30. Okay. And then there's a duck. And then there's a butterfly. And then there's another one for $30. And you can see the date it came out. So it has been here at this price since the 28th. Today, as I'm filming, is the 11th, so that's two weeks, two weeks. At least come through and, like, reprice after a couple of weeks or something. So a wonderful viewer just brought these over to me, this beautiful pair of horse bookends. They're 20, but today, for me, they're only 12, so we'll take them. That is a pretty, pretty bowl with its hobnail. It's not Fenton. That's not Fenton Hobnails. It's it's more modern. I don't know who makes this one. I suspect it's just like imported glass. It's newer. I'm trying to kind of copy the old Hobnail, like the Empoli like look, but it is not. Oh, and the blue and white chicken intrigues me. This thing is only five dollars. I have a lot of people who love chickens. It's not marked, but he's just really, really pretty and decorative. Let's grab him. The willow trees, I generally don't pick up anymore. The, just the values on those have come down so much. And it's just a saturated market. This is a cool Starbucks mug. It looks brand new from 2022. It is $7.99, making it like five bucks. I don't know. No, I'm going to leave that for somebody else. Got a little fake shell. Little cake plate. Oh, another little colorful elephant. That one is a vase or a candle holder. Oh my goodness, look at these guys. How cute are those? They're music boxes. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> So $12.99, I would not pay $12.99, but they would only be, okay, got to do that math in my head real quick. The $12.99 one gets me, I think it's like $9. I'm going to look these up and see what they sell for, but just on the fun factor, I know at least $15, but maybe more. Who knows? All right, be right back. A few minutes later. Okay, these are a score. Wait till the end, I'll tell you what they're worth. Okay, why do I really, really like these little martini glasses? They are Artland. Look at the little olive little feet. Oh, I really don't like dealing with sets of glasses, but this set is only $6. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, I'm torn. I'm so torn on these. Because I really do love them. I feel like somebody else is going to love them too. Okay, I'm going to grab them. Fun little gnome cookie jar. I think I saw these last time. I was trying to figure out what I would do with them. And I really couldn't come up with a good thing. Life is short. Lick the spoon. Okay, that is a fun spoon rest. A little too much for us though. This is an interesting mug. The Mandalorian. Alright, not for us. Not for us. I think I already saw that. This store is laid out in such a way too. I get lost in where I've been and where I have it because everything is kind of circular. I have to remember where I haven't been. I wish there was two of those. I like that. This is a light of some sort. Let's see who makes you. Oh, the cord is stuck. Come out here. Let's see if you've got a mark on the bottom. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's fun, but a little big, a little more than I want to deal with. Fun little pumpkin. It's too Halloween color, in my opinion, to be a good resaleable item right now. The ones that sell well in the non-fall season have color to them. So I've been talking to several people here today too, and it's a little bit sad that the employees here, I guess, were kind of thrown off kilter and didn't even know that the store was going to close until it was like announced to the public. So I hear. Okay, I think that's going to do it for us here. It's getting a little busy too, so I need to get checked out and get back home and check on all the tortoises. Oh yeah, I, will, I, I gotta remember to show you Eileen's new little house and give you a little update on her. That's coming up, but first there'll be a recap with everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. Right now. coolest thing just happened. Uh, this lady was donating this palm tree with lights and they wouldn't take it. 
So I just happened to be parked next to her. She says, you want a palm tree? I'm like, sure. So there it is. I definitely have a lot to say about this whole business model and the closing of this store. But I'm going to be doing that first and foremost over in my membership section. So if you are part of the Niche Nation in the all in or higher level, that is where we're going to talk business. And we're going to dig into the analytics of what causes a store to close. And I think I have some pretty good personal experience on that to share because I know so many of you and it, so you think, but I don't have a retail store. But if you have an online store, if you have a space in an antique mall, it's all running a business and a business model. So let's talk about it. Come join me over there. It's five bucks a month. And uh, I will do my darndest to make sure you get quadruple the value out of that for your business. All right. With that, everyone, you go be profitable and make it fun. <laughs>